dream began uh, more than 20, 22 years ago. Even though it was a heat that never burned. Like everything that we've done for the last 25 years, it started with Ricardo's imagination and, and drive to do something and to make a statement and tell, tell a story. Why they couldn't stay? Why they couldn't stay? Bob and I wanted to write a show about, about music and the impact that it has on people's lives. How music connects us to our dreams, our memories, our willpower, our hopes. And that was the first show. It was about a world in which people's music had been taken away and in an attempt to, to recapture their dreams and their willpower. Rage under control, you got. It really was more an opportunity for me to work on fun, exciting, diverse music with fun, exciting, diverse people. Um, and it, and it's, it's been a long process because we both steal time from other, our other lives to, to do this. Um, so we've both grown a lot in those 25 years and, and the country and the world has changed a lot. And the, the opportunity to ex, you know express, I mean, because I think it is very timely. The first question might have been, uh, what would happen to human beings if they lost their music? But the bigger question became, in this country, is America an idea whose time has passed or an unfulfilled dream? That's the question. And who would get a chance to make that decision? And ultimately, we knew that it was young people. Ricardo and I have always had the, the luck of the Irish here uh, in, in finding talent and, and, and people that, that, uh, that bring a certain spirit to things. A week of trying to reach Greg Scott and get him in here, um, about midnight one night he comes in after rehearsal and sits down at the piano and sings Donny Hathaway. Well, I don't know who told him that Donny Hathaway is Ricardo's absolute favorite, but it, it melted Ricardo and me. And that same week we found Meryl, who's just a beautiful singer and a, and a beautiful spirit. They were great individually and they, they had great chemistry together. Everybody we talked to said, you've got to get Tony Lindsay in there. He would be perfect for this. Well, I had no idea that Tony had 11 Grammys. So I called him, he's in Mexico on vacation, and he's getting ready to go to Europe for a tour. He was home for a couple days, and we got him in the studio. He pretty much learned the music right there. It sounded like a million bucks. Our lives will take a new direction. The great, great ship city will be a home. Yesterday will be gone. Train will name himself the king, and he would make her queen. He would make her queen. Form a line to the right. From the dark to the light The way you live is all wrong People get on board, now come along The time is now for trans election
that body grind. I like that body grind. Stop it, T. For a new grind. Well, I am a throwback. An old throwing back. After great social upheaval, young people are left to answer the question Is America an idea whose time has passed or an unfulfilled dream? That's the question. But how do you connect those dots? And music, and particularly American music, had to be the connecting item. It's 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 really about what's the direction of, of this country. Well, that's that's pretty interesting to me, but not nearly as interesting as to what's the direction of the music that we can we can do with this and the the sounds we can make. We didn't feel at all limited in terms of what kind of music we could use in the show because the American music landscape is vast. It ranges from from rock and roll to punk rock to country and western to rhythm and blues to jazz to gospel all of those forms then you have to ask what's the best way to tell this story when we get to a place where a song must be sung what's the best way to tell it and sometimes a surprising form of music will come out of it as the best way to tell it and uh, and in many ways, that's why we've been in a 20-something year evolutionary process because as Bob and I grew, the show grew also. I was in, in Providence for, for a, a run of this show, for the, for the third weekend of a four-week run. And it, was, it just so happened that you know, Obama was speaking that night. And the, the Rhode Island premiere was the next Tuesday. And it was, the place was a buzz about uh, America and diversity and this and, and, uh, and, 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 and it felt like, wow, this show, the, all the themes fit right into it. It's great that it has that, that element and the, the dramatic theatrical element is great too. It's not, it's not where my heart started in, but I've learned so much from Ricardo about that over the years and really come to enjoy that part of it a lot. But um, a song like "Look Into the Future" to me, the words are great and important and interesting. But it's the it's the rest of it that, that really gets me going. <laughs>